Can you imagine a gender equal world? A world free of bias that's diverse, equitable and inclusive. International Women's Day is an annual day where people around the world celebrate women's achievements and take action for equality. The theme for this International Women's Day is Break the Bias. And to accompany the theme, there is a pose that you can use on social media to show your support for a gender equal world. At Cult, we're marking the day by celebrating extraordinary women from history. Some you may know and some you'll discover today. Keep watching to find out. My extraordinary woman from tech history is Dame Stephanie Shirley, who was a software pioneer. A child refugee who at five years old came to England in 1949, Dame Stephanie went on to found an all-woman software company that pioneered remote working and redefined the expectations and opportunities for working women at the time. It was ultimately valued at about almost $3 billion and made 70 of her staff millionaires. Since retiring, her work has been in philanthropy with a particular focus on autism and IT. This International Women's Day, I want to shine the light on Ada Lovelace. Ada's mathematical talent shone through in her early life, and her skills and interest to machine lead to her work with Charles Babbage, the inventor of the analytics engine which resampled the elements of a modern computer. As a result of her work on the project, Ada is often referred as the world's first computer programmer. It was Lovelace's note on the analytics engine that Alan Turing used as a form of inspiration for his work on the first modern computer in the 1940s. I would like to acknowledge Mary Bonato, an American civil rights lawyer who fights for the LGBTQ community to eliminate discrimination based on gender identity and sexual orientation. In 2015, she argued before the U.S. Supreme Court that state bans on same-sex marriages are unconstitutional. This International Women's Day, I want to shine a light on Simone Veil because of her contribution to women's rights in France. Indeed, Simone Veil, who died in 2017, was a French magistrate and politician who served as a health minister in several governments and was president of the European Parliament, first woman to hold that office. She is best remembered for advancing women's rights in France, in particular for the 1975 law that legalized abortion. She was also made honorary dame in 1998, was elected to the Académie Française in 2008 and received the Grand Cross of the Légion d'honneur in 2012. My extraordinary woman from tech history is Heidi Lamar, the inventor of Wi-Fi. Heidi was a film actress, a real icon for Hollywood, and also a talented inventor. Heidi was awarded a patent in 1942 for secret communication system. And this frequency hopping system was intended as a way to set radio guided um, torpedoes off course during the war. But the idea eventually inspired Wi-Fi, GPS and Bluetooth technology, which are commonly used in the world today. Alex Ball, born in 1892, was a chemist who, at the age of 24 years old, pioneered the treatment for Hansen's disease, also known as leprosy. It was the only working treatment in the early 20th century until antibiotics were invented. At the time, Cormagar oil was the only treatment for Hansen's disease available, but it was almost impossible to use effectively. Through her work, Ball found a way to create a water-soluble solution of the oil's active compounds that could be safely injected. I want to shine a light on Elizabeth Findler, creator of the first search engine. Between 1972 to 1989, Elizabeth ran the Network Information Center, which was a bit like a prehistoric Google. The NIC was the first place to publish the resources and directories for the internet, developing the original white pages and yellow pages directories. Her group also developed the domain naming scheme of .com, .edu, .gov, .net and many more that we use so commonly today. This International Women's Day, I want to shine a light on Dorothy Hodgkins because of her contributions to chemistry, which she received the Nobel Prize for in 1964 by discovering the crystal structures of insulin, penicillin and vitamin B12. She achieved all this whilst dealing with rheumatoid arthritis from her early 20s. My favourite woman from tech history is Shakuntala Devi, an Indian mathematician, writer and mental calculator. She is popularly known as a human computer for performing very large mental calculations faster than a computer, for which she featured in the Guinness Book of World Records. She wrote the book The World of Homosexuals, which is considered the first study of homosexuality in India. 
She saw homosexuality in a positive light and is considered a pioneer in the field. I want to shine a light on Mary Streep for speaking out for women's rights and for reminding and encouraging women all over the world that we are at our best when we are truly being ourselves. My favorite quote from her is, what makes you different or weird, that's your superpower.